cycle. So what's happening right now is this 2019, 2020 threshold, we are in the halls right now. We are in the, we are in the halls of the weighing of the heart and the feather right now. So what comes outside is up to you. So it's time to like do that work now. Everything that you need to get rid of, uh, transform, transmute, do it now because you want to come out on the other side of 20 with your heart intact, with your own heart, not a fragmented piece and not someone else's heart kind of coming in and mixing in. You have like a buddy to kind of carry around with you and deal with, you know, symbolically, not necessarily physically, but um, that's like the energies that's going now. So um, I have to uh, conclude soon. <laughs> Trying to keep this like short, a little short, shorter than usual. But um, so this takes me to uh, to the holding space. So 2020, and I'm going to bring up this um, this image that I have here um really quick just to get into osiris really quickly so uh let's see okay okay so i just finished reading this book um this is uh, a novel uh this is um written by nick drake and it's called it's basically so, uh, titled as a uh, tutankhamun uh tutankhamun uh, or most people know is King Tut, uh, and it's called the Book of Shadows. Now, here's an example of the eclipse, and I wanted to talk about this really quickly. So you see his eye is covered with an eclipse, okay, a full solar lunar eclipse all in one, right? So this is very significant because this is, and even in the story, uh, Tutankhamun is, and it just as all kings, are initiated into the full embodiment of Asar or Osiris. So he would be a representative, a physical representative of Osiris. So uh, so in this, just in this image, I just wanted to use this image as an example. When we're coming into 2020, I know a lot of people are like, you know, noticing 2020 vision, perfect vision, two eyes. But understand that these two eyes, the left and the right eye, are coming together and they're eclipsing. Okay, so 2020, if you can think of, sorry, I'm getting a little blurry here. You, if you can think of an eclipse, that's what 2020 is. It is a full-on whole year of eclipsed energy. So you got the left eye and the right eye, you got the sun and the moon, you got all you got those eyes merging together for 2020, which is creating creating that eclipse. So when that eclipse is official, which is official for next month, actually, uh, uh, winter solstice, it's not in January. When that eclipse happens for that 2020 merging, um, there's a holding space that is created, a holding space, okay? And in this holding space, when we talk about Asar, Asar basically is the king of the dead, the king of the underworld, the king of the shadows, the king of the darkness. Um, he governs over that other side, that, that shadowy, dark, um, underworld side of things, that side. And he barely emerges. He only emerges when he needs to. So when there's an eclipse, there's an eclipse happening, a full-on eclipse. What's happening is that Asar or Osiris is actually bringing through, uh, he's bringing the underworld with him. So what's happening for 2020 in a few weeks is he's bringing in this essence, this principle is through natural cycles is bringing in uh the dead <laughs> the dead so the souls from the underworld are actually mixing and mingling with the living 
where there would be barriers usually, and I spoke about this in another video, where there would normally be barriers, there are no more barriers. So because of the eclipse, it said that uh, in the mythologies, right, in the principle itself, it says that when there's an eclipse, the, the, the body of Osiris is merging with the soul of Ra, where he becomes one, dark and light, together, and he is fully activated. So when that happens, in essence, when that happens, all shit, like, hits the fan. It's like all of the spirits that would normally not be here will be here because he or that essence of him that programming whatever that is is present so his crew his people his the the underworld comes through it's like the movie us basically with the movie us that's basically what that is like they're all coming from the underworld they all just emerge and they're mingling with the living so now all the chaos breaks out. So this is a very chaotic time. It's the time of the underworld. Um, so this is the perfect time because when you are brought into the underworld, that's where the weighing of the scale happens. So because we're in weighing of the scale mode, because we are now merging straight up with underworld, all of that is happening. Most people are going they're facing their uh they're facing their fears they're facing certain truths that are uncomfortable um there's a lot of that because there's a lot of test and testimony and opportunity to release <laughs> these fears to <coughs> accept certain parts of yourself that you've been suppressing this is the time to do that work and um so so this is this is what this energy is representing it's representing like all everything the chaos the chaos will eventually turn back into order now really quickly because my son's school bus is coming soon <laughs> yeah. um but um with that um this is where it's time to basically transform. And this is why I was saying that when we talk about the brotherhood, the Osarian brotherhood, that's, that's, the, that's basically the Illuminati. It's the illuminated hidden knowledge because what, what, what Osiris represents is the hidden aspects of truth. Okay, the hidden, the hidden, the hidden. But the thing is, a lot of the Osarian knowledge and truth that is there that dwells within a darkness is misunderstood or used as a weapon so this is why the brotherhood has taken advantage of the hidden truths still hoarding these truths because clearly they feel it needs to be a secret all right so no one really makes it pass you know with them just the elite so just like when we when we talk about back in the ancient times it was for the elite the pharaohs the queens the kings the officers the priests and so on they were the ones who are part of this brotherhood that tapped into the knowledge of the osirian uh truth and they kept it to themselves this is an atlantean trait Okay, this is why I said Atlantis is back. You have all these, and male dominant, male dominant, because this is a masculine trait. Hiding that goddamn knowledge is a masculine trait, okay? So you see a lot of men popping up from the brotherhood, sharing the knowledge, but to a certain point, there's a ceiling to that shit because they're only bringing you to the seven mark, all right? So they're not bringing you to the bridge, to take you into the nine. They're just taking you to that God body status with the information. And then they're kind of like leaving you hanging and they're like, all right now, like I done taught you enough, but we about to board this ship and you don't have a ticket because you're not a part of, you're, you're not a part of our brotherhood. So I gave you what you needed. You know what I'm saying? But you don't mix and mingle with us. So, this is it, period. And that's that's the uh, that's the other side of that uh, 
uh, weaponized aspect of truth that is an Atlantean trait. Now, not all uh, all Atlantean you know, energies are into that. There are many who are coming forth who are a part of that Osirian uh, uh, brotherhood that is actually taking people across the bridge. So shout out to those men who are doing that because that's, 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 that's what that Osirian energy is because when you're leaving people hanging and you're just giving information, you're remembering, regurgitating, and just saying, okay, I hope you do well with the info. Peace, I'm out to go experience the nine. When you say that, that's not Osirian, okay? That is, that is set. That is actually the opposing brotherhood that is using the face of Osiris to do their dirty work, okay? So what's being presented is it looks like they're helping you. They're dropping all the knowledge but they're not taking you anywhere because you are not invited. <laughs> so this is why I said, okay, the books are cool, the information is cool, but learn how to truly, um, truly like use your perception, like, like really take those perceptive skills and create a resonance that will take you through that bridge on your own. You don't need a brotherhood to bring you through. And that's the shit that they don't want you to know, which is why the secret societies were created. Why? Because they don't want everyone to get through the threshold with all of themselves, even after quote unquote death. They get to escape the reincarnation loop. They get to escape the, uh, the recycling of soul, they get to escape all of that in the elite brotherhood, like the true brotherhood. They really get to escape that because they're ho they're holding it for themselves. And there's also a business uh, farming aspect of it. And we've talked about human farming and energy ciphering. Okay, so they 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 don't need you to come on a mother board the mothership, right? Going to the nine real quick on the other side of the threshold because. They need you, they fed you the information because it's like fattening up uh, cows or chickens, all right? It's kind of like, you're the flock, but I'm teaching you so that you can fatten up a little bit and your consciousness is at a certain point, you got a certain spark inside of you, but you don't have, you don't have levels of perception. You know what I'm saying? You just feed, you just.